Hello, hello, what is up everyone? Dale here and today I just wanted to make a quick review of the E3 EA conference. Was it the other way around? The EA conference at E3 2017. Um, there isn't really much to talk about here so I want to keep it short and sweet but I will start off with the positives and first off I want to talk about Need for Speed Payback. Now Need for Speed Payback reminds me, I was talking to someone on Twitter and they kind of told me that um, it reminds them of Fast and Furious and I had to agree with that. First I thought like it's a like a Need for Speed mixed with Uncharted because there's a lot of racing, but then it kind of um, quickly seamlessly turns into a cutscene at the same time where it involves characters as well as the the cars now. So you've got it's like the um the the most recent release of Need for Speed, but I think it's more action packed and more energetic. Well, there's a big difference here. So it reminds me of like a Fast and Furious um game basically, but it's just not called Fast and Furious like the movies. And, um, it looks pretty interesting. Um, it reminded me of Rivals, which I did enjoy. I enjoyed the feel of the game, but, um, I don't think it had much to it. So hopefully this game has a lot of content and has a nice, entertaining, action packed story that we can play through. It's like Burnout as well. So, um, yeah, I'm um, looking forward to seeing more of that game. There was another game, Way Out, where there was, um, it was like a co-op only game actually. It was, it was very interesting. At first I didn't know what was going on, but then I, I cause I wasn't listening properly, but then um, they kind of explained it was co-op only. And um, you have these two people, these two guys working together in like a prison and stuff. And one player can approach a situation differently from the other. So it looks like, um, it looks like a very interesting game to play, to play with a friend. So um, I would like to see more of that game. I give, give props to EA for bringing that one out. And obviously they showed uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which again looks good. <laughs> it looks much better than um, Battlefront 2 anyway. Um, I really liked the, the dog fighting in the air. It looked really... It just really looked so immersive. Kind of like how... I mean, Star Wars Battlefront 1 was immersive. Like, it just didn't have the, the, the content to back it up. But this one, they said it has three times the content. And people were making jokes. Well, <laughs> does that make it a regular game? Because, you know, uh, the first one was lacking so much content. Well, I'm just... And I'm just speaking off what other people have said about the game. Because I didn't really play uh, Battlefront 1 that much. But I heard all the... Um, the complaints they had. And it looked like EA really wanted to prove a point. Because they had, like, a 30-minute gameplay session of Battlefront 2 and the map looked amazing just to show everyone all the changes that they've made to the game which I thought was cool but at the same time I thought that wasn't really the place to put a 30 minute uh, gameplay reveal you know in in a, in a conference and that's where EA kind of missed the ball on this one because I think they spent too much time on each game because of the fact that they didn't have that many to show to be honest um, actually, well, I forgot. Um, there was another game that was interested, that piqued my interest, which was from Bioware. Um, it's called Anthem. They only showed like a little um, teaser trailer and they said they're going to show more of the game in the Microsoft conference, which I didn't really get because, you know, that's today. So, I mean, if they're going to show it a day later, they might as well just let it <laughs> happen today. But anyway, it looked like a cool concept. It reminded me of uh, Attack on Titan. You know, they kind of confined inside the walls and these things outside the walls that they're the walls are protecting them from so that's pretty interesting and it's sci-fi so you know i love myself some sci-fi and it's bioware the creators of uh, mass effect which is a series i i really 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 enjoy um and mass effect and Robin actually did enjoy most of that game as well to be honest um i had a video on that earlier but um yeah that was for the positives and yeah the negatives they spent too much time in the beginning on the sports games now i play fifa i didn't re i didn't buy uh, fifa 17 this year because i thought they didn't make enough changes for me to for to warrant me buying the game but um they they spent so much time talking about madden and fifa and they had these two guys come out just talk it it just got terrible I, it was so boring to watch they, they didn't like the way I, I, I like the, the conferences being held was something like, I think it was Sony last year when they had a game, they showed, they revealed the game, showed some gameplay, had someone come out and give a brief summary of the game and they just carried on going like that. Um, with EA, they kind of lingered around on, on a game that most people who are watching the EA conference aren't really interested in. They did also show, um, NBA live and I don't play basketball games, but it doesn't, it looked weird because they didn't show gameplay. They just showed like some slow motion of uh, so, uh, LeBron James dribbling a ball, which was, 
it, it feels as though they're hiding something if they're not going to show the game. Might as well show the gameplay and see what's going to be like. And I'm not, I don't, I don't play 2K or anything, but from what people who play 2K are saying and what they say about live, I don't know if um, EA have managed to bring a game that could compete with 2K. But we'll see when they show any some gameplay. But yeah, as I said, as I was saying, all of this stuff they could have just uploaded onto YouTube and have people watch afterwards instead of making people sit through watching these long explanations of these games in a conference which was supposed to build up hype for their upcoming games. So all in all, I think as an overall conference, it was it was poor. But they did have some interesting games to show here and there. And that was my review for the EA E3 2017 conference. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you thought about the conference in the comment section below. And I'll see you all later. Peace.